as I scoured the internet looking for ways to hallucinate without any form of drugs or alcohol, I did find a YouTube video telling me how to do it. You go and you find the best damn ping pong ball that you can find, and then you want to cut the ping pong ball in half so that you can have each piece for your eyeball. Then you want to blacken the inside by either taping it on the inside or taping on the outside. I'm going to tape it on the outside. Then after that, you want to create this headband, sleep mask type thing, and then have the eyepieces on there. And now you have this mask that helps you hallucinate. All right, honestly though, don't, don't fucking use this thing. This thing literally sucks dick. I'm gonna use a sleep mask, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cup it so that the inside has room for me to blink without my eyelashes touching the inside. So I'm gonna cup it like this and tape it over my face. You basically don't want any light escaping the ping pong balls, and to help you hallucinate even more, you wanna actually have some soundproof headphones on, or some kind of white noise. I'm gonna test it out and see what happens. I forgot to mention something super important. So the reason why the sleep mask technique works is because whenever your eyes are open in complete darkness, your brain is constantly looking for information. So after a while of being in complete darkness with your eyes open, your brain makes up imagery. So uh, yeah. So bright. So yes, it did work. Most of the time it didn't. Whenever it did work though, it was really cool. I was trying to be conscious of it. There was a point where I saw what seemed like a bunch of planets. It was black though. And it, and it had kind of like a red outline. It was kind of like, like an eclipse, but it was it was like a red outline. So there was like a bunch of planets and it was like spinning. And I was like, oh, this is sick. And then that kind of went away. Holy shit. I felt like my body was sinking into the, the bed. I felt like I was sinking in kind of like a floating feeling. And I was like, oh shit, it's happening. It's happening. It's like, it's going, it's doing it. I felt like the bed was expanding and extra and contracting. Like yeah, it's kind of like breathing. And I was like, maybe it's my breath. Maybe I'm just barely moving because of my breath. So I breathed at an irregular pattern. So I was like, I breathed differently and the same breathing pattern from the bed was still happening. It was still oh, wow. yeah, expanding and contracting at the same pace while I was breathing irregularly. And I was like, sick! Now all this, I don't know if I was imagining it or if my brain was making me see these things, but it was like cool as fuck either That's way. That's awesome, yeah, it's great that it worked. All right, for this session, we're gonna get high using just uh, oxygen. We're gonna do a breathing technique. We're gonna feel a little tingly and maybe hallucinate. We'll see what happens. So making noise helps <laughs> get rid of the energy. Nothing will hold. <sighs> Tingly all in here. Nothing will hold. Ah, come on. Ah. 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 Holy crap. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 You feel your chest? Ah. Holy crap. Ah. Holy crap. Ah. Ah. It's so tingly. Oh. God. Lot of pressure. <laughs> Holy shit. Nothing will hold. Babe, it's so much pressure. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel so sick. Oh, oh, fuck. What? Oh, shit. Well, I don't think we're done yet. <laughs> we gotta keep going. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
Because you're shaking. Nothing will hold. Good, good, good. Ah, 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 